Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you are doing well. If you're watching this video right now, then you're probably trying to figure out how to do an A-B split test, okay? So you want to split test two landing pages, figure out exactly how to do it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. If this is the first time you're watching uh, one of my videos on my channel, I always come up with content that will teach you how to become more profitable with internet marketing. So consider subscribing to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know every time we release a brand new video, okay? But let's talk a little bit about a split test. I'm going to launch straight into it so that you know exactly how to do it and why you should be doing it. Um, let me break it down for you and then I will actually show you a demo of exactly how you can do a split test, what you should be testing and what metrics to aim for, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so the first thing with the A-B split test, okay? We're going to break it down first of all into these uh, few categories. So first of all, what is an A-B split test? Let's talk about that a little bit. What you should be testing metrics to shoot for and then we'll talk a little bit about the tools, okay? So A-B split test, first of all, uh, very simple. This is really, um, you, you know, you should be split testing everything, to be honest. You should be split testing your, your email subject headlines. You should be split testing your, your landing pages. You sh should be split testing your sales pages. Depending on what you're trying to do, there is a A-B split test for everything, but all it is really is you're just comparing two pages to see which one converts better. better. It's as simple as that. So you compare, um, you know, one version with another version, that's all you're doing and the one that beats out the other one you keep that as a control and then you create a new split test and you just continue to try and beat that control all right that's that's all it is it's very very simple so all you're doing really is you're focusing on changing just one element all right so don't try and split test everything because if the more things that you try and split test and a lot of people you know will say this they, they split test an arrow they split test the background color they split test the button they split test all sorts of different things a lot of them are a waste of time and I'm gonna show you um, all the, the only thing that you really should be split testing okay very very simple all right so um, let's talk a little bit about what you should be actually split testing for, all right? And that, that's really important, okay? So these are the main elements, and, and you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been marketing online for about 14 plus years now. Um, and the, really the main thing that's really, really going to move the needle for you in any split test, right, if you're testing two pages, is the headline. It's really the most important thing, okay? So if you're gonna test one thing, I would mainly test the headline. Like the headline can be the difference between, you know, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 extra percent. So you could have a, a headline which is just absolutely horrible. It's horrendous, right? And you're getting like sub 10% uh, conversion rates. That means for every person that lands on your page, only you know less than 10% of people actually enter the, the information or take action on that page in order to move to the next step in your sales process, okay? So the headline can make a huge difference, all right? So if you've got a crappy headline, the best thing that you should do is just keep split testing the headline until you get to an opt-in rate that you like, okay? So you should be shooting for, and I'm gonna share this with you, anything below, um, and again, it depends on the, your traffic source, right? So it depends on whether you're generating traffic from Facebook ads, from organic traffic, from SEO, from um, LinkedIn, from TikTok, from Instagram, uh, from Google ads, whatever it is, from YouTube, for example. But on average, if you can get over 30%, that's already pretty good. That means 30% of people landing on your page are actually opting in for the next step, giving you their details, their name, their email address, whatever it is, uh, their phone number, you know, to get SMSs, you can even do that. If you can get more than 30%, you're, you're doing pretty good, okay? But if you can get over 40 or 50%, that's really, really good. Right, and that's what you should be really aiming for. So headline is the main thing that you should be split testing for. Um, the best headline strategy really to split test for is to give a benefit, all right? A benefit and a pain, all right? So if you can speak directly to the benefits and the pain of your audience that's landing on your page, right? So whether it's weight loss or whether that's making money online or whether that's getting into a better relationship or learning how to cook or learning how to, you know, learn a particular skill set, right uh, you know get results with Facebook ads for example right if you can speak to their pain points and the benefit points that's how you write a good headline okay the next thing that you should test for is the overall design of the page so design one versus design two that means design number one is going to be completely different from design number two the headline is this may, might be the same okay so once you get the headline correct you, all you need to do is just change the, 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 the complete design of the page. But the headline stays the same. So that's the second thing to, 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 to test for, okay? And then the third thing to test for is the actual opt-in form. 
So how much information are you asking for? Asking for more or less details of the person, right? So are you asking for a name, an email address, and a phone number? Or are you just asking for an email address? And what I found is that generally speaking, if you ask for less things, your opt-in rate goes up. Okay, so you can you can test this for yourself. But generally speaking, if you ask for a name, a last name, an email address, and a phone number, the opt-in rate is going to be way, way lower than if you just ask for an email address. But for example, for you, depending on your business, you may want to ask for more stuff because just asking for an email address may not be enough for you. Okay, in a lot of cases, I just ask for an email address. I don't even ask for a name. Uh, and that's why my opt-in rates are, are very high, okay? Now, here's a big thing. Don't waste your time on color, split testing colors. Okay, a lot of people think that, oh, I'm, if I test a, a blue background or a white background or a red background, it's going to give me better results. But, you know, if you're getting 1% extra, it's just not that much, you know? It's not really going to move your numbers that much. Um, you really want to be going for 5% extra, 10% extra, 15% extra uh, on, on the opt-in rate, okay? And the, and the best way to move that really is the headline. Once you figure out the, the, a great headline, the overall design of the page, and then you can look at your opt-in forms. And, and this is what I found moves the needle the most for me anyway, okay? So what is the metric that you should be shooting for? If you can get above 50% opt-in rate, 50% of people landing on the page giving you the information and moving to the next step in the sales process, that is golden already, okay? Um, again, if you're doing things like paid ads, like YouTube ads or Facebook ads, this might be a little bit lower. Uh, generally, people will get, you know, 25, 30%. If you can get more than 30%, um, that's already pretty good on Facebook ads and YouTube ads, okay? Now, what tools should you use? Um, I like to use Click Magic, and I'm going to give you a full demo right now so to, to show you exactly how you can do the split test. It's really, really easy. Um, or you can use pretty much any page builder. Okay, so for you to build out your landing pages, your squeeze pages, you're probably using some sort of page builder, some sort of funnel builder, right? Be it Click Funnels, Groove Funnels, um, you know, Optimize Press, WordPress. There's so many different um, you know, page builders out there system.io, um, builder all, I mean, it's endless, get response. A lot of them do have a page builder now. Most of them will have a split test tool that you can use, but I like Click Magic because I think it's the most accurate. Some of these page builders don't have a very accurate, um, you know, split tester, unfortunately, okay? So now you know kind of the foundation, right? Let me go ahead and show you how to actually create the split test, all right? So um, just let me jump on my page right now. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. So you can see that uh, I'm in Click Magic, right? So if you're not if you if you're not a Click Magic user, I recommend the, that you grab a copy of Click Magic. I'm just gonna leave a link to Click Magic below. That's gonna be my affiliate link. If you wanna give me some credit, completely up to you, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna basically show you exactly how I use Click Magic right now um, to do a split test, right? So let's just say I was to create a brand new tracking link, and this is the cool thing with Click Magic, you can create uh, you know any link for anything that you want um, I'm gonna put traffic and I'm gonna put test test demo okay um, I'm gonna choose whatever um, you know I've got a few different websites here my final secrets and we're gonna call this test page all right now the primary URL that you want to put so this is your tracking link right here but the primary URL that you want to put in is the link to your landing page, the link to your squeeze page, okay? So I've got uh, two squeeze pages here. This is one of them. I'm just going to grab this. I built this in ClickFunnels, all right? You can build it wherever you want. I'll just make sure that, that this is right, HTTPS, and then that's it, okay? Um, and by the way, if you want to learn how to create a great landing page, I've got a free training on the top there. You can click on the right-hand side um, anytime you want. I'm going to show you exactly how to build the best and highest converting landing page, squeeze page, if you want to check that out um, later on, okay, or anytime. So I'm going to go ahead and create this tracking link, create tracking link, and then it's going to plug it in here. And I've got a lot here, right? So I'm just going to go and look for it, and it should be uh, under traffic, um, and I'm going to go, where is it? Traffic, maybe it's on page number three. Traffic test demo, okay, it's here. So what you want to do is, is once you, you have uh, that link, you might only have one, it depends on whether you're using Click Magic or not, you would come into this little uh, spanner here and you would click on split testing, okay? So I'm going to click on split testing and it's going to open up the split test page. So what I'm going to do is I want to optimize not for sales, I want to optimize for actions because actions is basically um, the opt-ins that you're getting, right? You want to maximize uh, the opt-in rate 
Okay, so you want to you want to optimize for actions. Um, spit, you know, you, in Click Magic they call it actions. And I'm going to add a variation page. All right, so the variation page I'm just going to put here page two. Okay, and I'm going to go grab a different version of my of one of my capture pages here. So this is another one. Okay, again it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Okay, but the idea is you want to just kind of see which one converts better. I'm going to put in 50% weight because I want them to be equally weighted, split tested equally. All right. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. And then what's going to happen is Click Magic is going to be split testing these two pages. It's going to be running them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And all I would do is I would just check back in here to see which one did the best. Okay. Now, obviously, this is a brand new test. All right. Um, so I can't test this. But basically, if I was to go get out here, I would be using this link, the main link, test demo. And I, this is the link that I would share. Okay, this is the this is the link that, that um, I would be sharing all over my marketing. So if I was trying to get leads on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn or Instagram, this is the exact link that I would be sharing in my marketing so that this would rotate the two pages, the, the, the you know, page number one, page number two, the A B split test, and then it would give me some data. And then that da that data is the data I can use to decide which one is going to be the winner and how I'm going to create a new split test in the future to try and beat my control page that won. Okay, so let me show you some, some data um, on another split test that I did. So just let me go in here uh, and I'm gonna go into my reviews page here, okay? Um, and I'm gonna go into split testing and this is an old split test, all right? So I'm gonna go for actions and you're gonna see here that I had thousands. I basically had over 5,000 clicks here, right? And you can see that, that there's like, how many leads did I generate? I generated almost 2,000 leads. So 1,051 plus, uh, you know, 905. Um, and you can see that my primary URL right here, this is my winner. I got uh, an, an average uh, opt-in rate of 39.3%, so almost 40%, which is pretty good, okay? So if you can get 40 to 50% opt-in rate, that means roughly 40% of people landing on this page enter the details to move on to the next step in the sales process, right? Versus version two that only got a 34.9% opt-in rate, which is still not bad if you think about it, but I'm getting roughly about four or 5% more with my primary URL, okay? So my primary URL won. So what I should be doing right now, and you can see here, this is the loser, right? So um, basically you just keep running the split test until Click Magic tells you that there is a statistic, uh, I can't pronounce that word, sorry, a statistical significance, okay? That means that uh, there's enough data to confirm that the primary URL here has actually beat version number two, all right? And sometimes you need quite a lot of data here. There's a lot of data here. I mean, there's 5,000, you know, uh, clicks. The people are kind of clicking on this page, right? And then what I would do now is I would create a new split test, all right? And I would create a new version two and I would try and beat my control page, which is the primary URL page. And that's it, all right? So in this particular example, what I might do is I might change the headline again. And I would just keep changing the headline until I couldn't get a better um, you know, page to, or better headline. And then I would maybe split test the, the, the way the page looks, the whole, the whole version of the page. So I'm just gonna go back here again so that you can see, all right? So again, what I would do is I would, I would, I would do this in order, right? So first the headline, because that moved the, moves the needle the most, then the overall design of the page, and then whether you ask for a, a name, a last name, an email, a phone number, or just a name and an email, or just an email, up to you, don't worry about the colors at all. Okay, so these are the three things that I would test. All right, so let's just head back here to the page, all right? And that's basically how you would do it, okay? So remember, if you wanna check out how to build the best landing page possible, you can see on the uh, top right hand side there, I've got uh, a video that I did in the past, right? To show you how to build the best page. And that's basically how you would do a split test. Very, very easy. Okay, so let me know in the chat box right now, you know, what value you got from this video. Let me know. I would appreciate it if you uh, like this video, give me some thumbs ups, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I always come up with content like this to teach you how to build a more powerful internet marketing business. I focus on affiliate marketing, all right? Uh, but this is relevant for all internet businesses because you can literally split test anything. You can do an A-B split test for anything, like I mentioned right at the start of this video, you can split test for landing pages, you can split test email subject lines, you can split test sales pages, you can split test 
um, YouTube thumbnails, for God's sakes. You can literally split test anything and you should you, and you should be split testing everything inside of your sales process because if you can increase everything by two, three, four, five percent, ten percent, it trickles down on in your whole process and it just increases your profit overall. Imagine if all if everything that you were doing, everything from your ads to your thumbnails, to your email subject lines, to your landing pages, everything was being split test and you were maximizing everything in the process. Um, that just creates a lot of increase. It just compounds your growth, all right? And it compounds your results. It compounds how many leads you're getting. It compounds how good your ads are doing. It compounds how many people are opening up your emails. It makes a big, big difference in your overall performance. So make sure you're split testing everything, but it all starts with just split testing your landing pages right here okay so listen i hope you enjoyed this video again make sure you you subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification so that you know every time we are uh, releasing a brand new video and if you would like to learn how to uh, increase your overall profit or just get better um, at making money online getting better at affiliate marketing go ahead and subscribe to my six-figure workshop absolutely free i hope to see you on another video take care and all the best to you